Hey, today we're going to talk about what is the correct way to pick up your horse's feet, front feet and back feet. A lot of times, a lot of people have a little bit of anxiety, especially about picking up in the back feet of the horse and working around the back end of the horse. So I'm going to show you a couple ways to make sure you are able to be safe, not get stepped on preferably, and still be able to pick your horse's feet up correctly because it's going to help when you're cleaning their feet out. It's also going to help when the farrier comes to do some trimming or to put shoes on. So we're going to start with the front feet. Notice I'm going to position myself next to my horse's shoulder and I'm going to stay parallel to his body. Now, when you look at my feet, you're gonna see that my feet are also planted parallel to his feet. I never want to have my feet turned this way because if he lifts up and steps back, he's gonna step on me. I also don't wanna have my foot directly in front of him as I work because the same thing can happen. He can step on me or he can reach down and hurt my leg or bite my leg or something like that that I can't see coming. Okay, so you wanna start with your feet both parallel to your horse's feet. Now, when I ask him to pick his foot up, I'm gonna run my hand down his leg, and when he lifts his foot up, I'm going to support that hoof with my hand here and here. Now, as I want to work on his feet, I'm gonna still make sure that my feet stay parallel to his body and not go underneath because if he jerks his foot away he can still step on my foot and having your pinky toe bruised is not a good thing especially if you got to wear heels ooh ow ooh ow okay so i want to make sure that my feet are in the right position now sometimes you may get a horse that wants to be a little obnoxious and he wants to snatch his foot away from you if he tries to do that all i'm going to do is lift up on the foot and i can still maintain control over it now the same thing when I want to release his foot, I'm gonna make sure that my feet are out of the way and I'm gonna let him have his foot and he's gonna place it down where he wants it. So that's easy. <laughs> now we're gonna to get to the backside. Not so easy, but still, same precaution measures are gonna to come to play. All right, so follow me back here to the back end. And here we're gonna do the same thing. Now. This horse knows that I'm gonna do his feet in a certain order. I'll usually start front to back, back to front as I work my way around him. So whatever foot I'm gonna to go to, he pretty much knows he's gonna to have to lift it up. But if you do have a horse that eh, says, I don't necessarily want you to lift my foot up and he may lean his weight into that foot, all I'm gonna do is, is touch him a little bit and have him shift his weight over. Same thing at the shoulder. I can touch the shoulder, have him shift his weight over just a little bit, just enough, and then if I need to, pinch right down uh, behind that fetlock, or right above the fetlock, rather, and have him lift his foot. Now, in order to stay safe at the back end, you're gonna do the same thing. I always have a hand or uh, something touching my horse so he knows where I'm at. Same thing here, he knows I'm coming down his leg and I'm gonna be working on that back leg. So as I come all the way down here, he starts to shift, I ask him to pick that foot up. Now notice how he picks it up really high. I don't need it that high. But I let him relax and when he relaxes, I'm able then to grab a hold of that foot. Now I can work with the foot right here, again, keeping my feet parallel. Now, what I do like to do, and if you're comfortable doing this, I kind of like to do what the farriers do, and they walk this leg out a little bit farther, right here. Now, I can take this leg and sort of hook it to the inside of my knee and rest it across my thigh. So you see it resting across my thigh here. And basically, because I'm only five foot one, my horse is almost 17 hands, makes it a little easier for me to work with. But also now I have control of that foot. Now, if he were to kick or yank from me, he's gonna kick and yank and that foot is, our leg is gonna go in the trajectory away from me, okay? So I still am not in kicking range, but I will let him drop that foot. I let it go and release it and basically 
that's how you pick your feet up properly so that you can either clean them out or get your horses prepped for the burial.